Man, what it do? What's good with y'all boys? It is a new week. It's a Monday. Hopefully you guys are getting your bread. Hopefully you guys are absolutely loving life, you know? Mondays is not the best, but we, we got to do what we can, you know? We got to do what we can with the day that we have provided, man. man. So hopefully you guys are doing well. A cheeky little bit of uh, in insp inspiring slash motivational intro. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing the best valued players in each position. Before we get into that, you boys know where to go, man. Are you that guy that's absolutely livid for people having insane, unbeatable teams? Are you just itching to try and get the best FIFA 23 experience? Now with the most reliable coins, use MMO EXP. It is a fast, quick process. Get the most reliable FIFA 23 FUD coins by using code META. You can save yourself 5%. Link is at the top of my description. MMO EXP, that is. Bro, while I sip my ginger tea right here, it's... It's a bit hot, I won't lie. Thank you all so much for people donating right there, obviously, to get uh, yourself a team. I'm going to build you the best team. Look at the second link in description, and you will obviously see that I build you the best team. So, obviously, uh, it is second link in the description, and it is a tipping page, $2 minimum, and obviously, state all the necessary things. Join the Discord. Discord link will be in the comments. Thank you so much, my guy, Zik, if I'm not mistaken, absolute beast for being first to come in on my latest video. Absolute legend, man. Uh, apparently, YouTube now shows the actual like ads they show the names so i think his name was danny hasek he obviously uh, his name is zik did not know he's been an absolute legend on the videos man thank you so much my guy nonetheless ladies and gentlemen as you can see right here we are on fudbin is it really a meta mic video if we aren't on fudbin bro <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i have played weekend league very very sweaty i won't lie actually more sweaty than the past weekends bro uh post team of the season funny enough i think it's because a lot of people have insane teams now uh, obviously, post team of the season, they have the ultimate tots was out, you know, they have all the best players. So yeah, how the series works is basically similar to other series. I state the best players, but this time I state so the best valued player underneath. So it's not the top five best players. It's not most meta players in each position. It's literally just me basically. So you can even ignore this type of page because this is literally like the conventional meta. So if you want to really look at this video from a different perspective, I think or from the same perspective I was looking at it, is look at the best value, you know what I mean? Like, you want to get the best bang for your buck. Obviously, all these cards are good. But, I mean, you can get yourself into Stegen at goalie for 58,000 coins. Best goalkeeper, in my opinion. A lot of people said he's insane. A lot of people also disagree. Now, in my opinion, I feel like it doesn't really matter because majority of people say this card is great, do you know what I mean? And goalkeepers are mostly... Uh, subjective but i think objectively though this keeper is really really good man you got the likes of testagen always look at their reactions and composure if you want to see if a goalkeeper is good uh, so go on fight and see if the reactions is at least above 80 above 75 especially at this stage of the game you know what i mean composure also comes to um plays a huge role especially if you're on one-on-one -on -one with um the attacker that comes into a uh, clutch right there man especially their height as well six foot two is decent i think another guy said to me because i said six foot two is, is small the guy said hey, making him feel short bro <laughs> i was only saying in respect of or relative to actual goalkeepers you know what i mean most of them are like six foot three and above so trying to have at least six foot two and above because under that yeah you you just you, you you're coming at a disadvantage when you have six foot two and below goalkeeper do you know what i mean because they won't say those long shots the um travailers etc so just bear that in mind man but to stay in very very good goalkeeper we are going to move over to the center backs now we got some very very nice center backs in terms of their value now we all know top five best center backs top 10 they all insane you know your Adam Tows, your delicts you got the likes of your kimpembe is very good spc obviously still viable to this day right they meant very very nice spc man veron having currently insane center back we're not going to look at that we're looking at the best valued now we've got four candidates right here absolute ballers right there the main one we've said it in a couple of past couple of videos and he's smalling boys very very nice center back pace split don't even care about that at a shadow and you got yourself a lengthy probably best center back in the game in terms of value bro insane bro like literally insane every time i play against him he's just very very nice man Every time I play uh, against him, he feels like like a small Dini, bro. Like you remember FIFA 17 times. So that is always nice to see. Uh, six foot four and yeah, absolute hunch of a guy right there, man. But uh, we are going to move over to the new cards that got added, actually. Uh, obviously, everyone knows Bremer as well. Smalling and Bremer, probably the best partnership duo in terms of center backs that you can get right now for the value. So if you compensated more coins towards your attack and midfield 
and you, you need like at least 200k for good center backs get smalling and bremer you won't go wrong but you also won't go wrong with this man right here ladies and gentlemen Geraldo becker seven eight thousand coins four star four star great for the direct passing and skills he can even do a couple of you know heel to heel flicks a bit of uh step overs here and there what makes this card so great is decent agility and balance 5 foot 11 i feel like is a little bit short that's the only downfall but i do think you can accompany him with like if you have smalling alongside becker you know what you're doing bro in terms of meta so four star four star what is so nice is his pace boys literally an insane lengthy center back at a shadow and look at that stats ladies and gentlemen we're looking at a 96 rated center back you don't even need to add a shadow i don't think because you don't even need to boost his pace bro now i know i might be mad for adding an engine maybe if you want his agility and balance but the thing is you lose the um accelerate type do you know what i mean so it all means i don't think add an engine it just doesn't make sense what do people add on him though let's see the add a shadow fair play man a lot of people know to add a shadow i think anchor as well is always a nice um way to go about it you know because he doesn't really need pace so you can also just boost the physicality while you add it and you got yourself an insane center back Seventy-eight thousand coins as well so so good man but uh yeah we move over to the other ones mitrovic was actually the second one right there um on my radar now he is an objective six foot two i think is perfect right for center back high and stocky now i don't really know high and stocky i haven't used high and stocky um especially midfielders slash defenders that much i think the, i think they do feel kind of op i won't lie because obviously stocky is more compact so he's gonna feel very very aggressive if that makes sense so by all means i think do add this guy just gonna quickly move my my green screen right there do add that man as a center back if you obviously don't have coins for center back try and get him in your team premier league serbian beast right there man and obviously has the decent links obviously not serbia maybe accompany him on village not a bad shout right there <laughs> i would actually really rate that if you accompany accompany him with village fair play but are we gonna move over to the fullbacks now as i said man a lot of people will be like mike where's kafu where's davies where's um uh, Roberto Carlos to be fair I didn't really uh, focus that much on the actual um insane conventional meta players uh I focus more on the value players which is underneath and as you can see right here we got probably one of the best valued fullbacks in the game right there so we got Orsolini very nice under 50,000 coins I love this card in weekend league I didn't see any problems with him man he has decent shooting even bro even to flank he's decent man and what made him so good is that five star skills so as a fullback goes very nice i didn't see any problem with him um he had a decent height as well in the mid uh, median height six foot right there decent and uh body type was nice as well not a bad card at all man we got the likes of bamba now mo bamba <laughs> jonathan bamba excuse me right there four star four star now he's not your conventional meta player but i think as far as value goes this card will be amazing as a wing back in a five back let's just be honest man we gotta say it like it's it's unfortunate that people do play five back but if you're playing five back might as well just go with the best and i think this bamba is decent only downfall is how to get him you need to do 50 of those objectives uh i think it's spc is 80 plus so if you have coins if you have the fodder by all means try and get this guy in your team because you do also get um you do get packs alongside him as well if i'm not mistaken right there as you can see man uh 50 completions you get yourself some some decent packs i won't lie but overall though if he had five star skills as well this card could potentially be placed at uh rcm in like a 4122 slash 2 or 4321 do you know what i mean but um yeah he is decent i wouldn't say go out your way to get him but i'd say he's decent value i mean he's free do you know what i mean well he's not free but <laughs> yeah you know what i mean but we got frimpong conventional i'd say a fullback you know a lot of people use him so klaus is one that i should have added uh but yeah i think frimpong in my opinion is better he just feels better in game uh we got nuno mendes which is 200 coins i think is is okay in terms of value not the best i won't lie so i don't know why i included him but i did include the main man jordi alba which i think is better bro 180k his stats is phenomenal unique body type you'll feel amazing on the ball only downfall is his height so he cannot get to those german crosses or crosses in general so just do bear that in mind but if you play with good with uh, small fullbacks you know like if you like them to at least um overlap this card will be um, phenomenal bro i mean even 83 finishing for jordi alba and he links to the main man busquets right there man talking of busquets we're gonna look at him soon right here which is the uh cdms cms and cams now ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of players right here in this category because it comprises of the 
best camps the best cdms which is your ball winners and then the best box-to-box -box players right there man so offensively and defensively these cards are brilliant man however you want to go about it and they're conventional you know so i don't really need to say much about them they're just insane in the game and we got obviously your conventional as well probably the ones that i didn't want to state but i had to because some people will be like michael is root hullet he's the best in the game obviously bro uh we got uh, yaya tore marquis is not here he's not good value now we're gonna start with the good value plays to rom under hundred thousand coins to rom is literally like a cheap viera like some people put him even on that pedestal with viera that was that's how good he is but uh we won't go right there because viera in game just feels absolutely phenomenal like viera in game right you'll see his stats and you'll compare you'll compare but in game the way he plays is just phenomenal i don't know what it is it's the same thing like with r9 you don't really look at stats there it's just how they are in game the way they feel you know on the ball etc etc we got barella under 400k right there very nice Busquets, i think as far as a cdm goes alongside Bai as well very good value cdms box box the pie cruise not out you can get him objectives though if you want to grind all that xp i think he's going to be a brilliant cm i'm getting him bro five star five star man that card is going to be brilliant and i do think rudiger is going to go up in price uh, the more people acquire this card because obviously they that's uh, a full linkage do you know what i mean um same club same nation etc upo mikano now these two are the, the spoken about goats ladies and gentlemen if you have these two in your cm partnership you know exactly what you're doing now zambrot is more the defensive side of things i think cdm and cm goes he is probably one of the best cms in terms of value in the game hundred thousand percent because his passing's brilliant. He feels amazing in terms of compactness. Now, yes, he's got average body type, but he's brilliant, man. Trust me. The likes of Open Mikano as well. Some people will say he's not even a CM. He's more of a cam, bro. If you add this guy in a 4 2 3 1, it's cam. If you add him even as an offensive CM in a 4 3 2 1, which is the CF formation, with the two CFs a striker, this card is going to be brilliant going up, man, because he has the five star skills, decent passing, man, and actually phenomenal passing. And obviously somewhat decent defending so you can even intercept the ball here and there so you can go about it by adding a shadow if you want him as a little bit defensive or even most people will add a um an engine or a guardian on him because they want him to turn as efficiently as possible due to the fact that he has a bit of stocky body type which is high and stocky i think high and stock is more aggressive and doesn't feel as bad as stocky you know stocky is a little bit too compact it just makes them feel like heavy on the ball you know like your runes etc but open meccano is is as far as meta goes man i will not lie but yeah that is the midfielders man tell me who's your favorite midfielder in the comments right there man because that is a big category midfielders are really really important man in anyone's team so yeah we got the likes of the wingers now yes Messi is good yes George Bess is good yes Jorginho is good don't really care about them and everybody knows they're good Rafael Leao on the other hand though is probably the best winger in the game personally speaking two more for a reason he just feels phenomenal fair play to him Rodrigo as well we'll give him the light of the day if that's a, even a saying ladies and gentlemen now wingers there's not really much of a left winger that is good value. I looked at it. You, you. I think there's more right wingers that are good value. Like you got the likes of. Let us actually see. I think it was what's that guy's name? Um, Lamela, bro. Lamela was a very, very nice right wing in the game. We'll show you in terms of right wingers goes. There is some decent, um, good value ones. Like I think it was Consolo. Uh, Con was it Consolo? Consolo? No, not Guedes. What am I saying? We'll see his name now. Um, Okay, these cards like Goodwin, Jean Mario, these cards aren't great, I'll be honest. Even Tella right there is, is, is okay, nothing great. See, like the likes of this Lamela is good in terms of value. Even Quadrado, as a fullback goes, he can also play as a right wing. Very, very nice. You got a sense of, like, nah, I don't think he's good value, man. It's just, you're going to put him in an SPC in a, in a month or, so, or two down the line. You want someone that is uh, good in terms of longevity as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's this, uh, and then I think it was the left winger right here. So we are going a little bit of sidetrack just to show you that there's not really much left wingers. I think it was, yeah, Pedro Consalves right there. This man, I think he's very good value, five star skills. Only downfall is average body type. Body type comes into a, a play, bro. A big, big thing that people forget or seem to forget is body type. You need them having at least for the attackers. I'd say generally high and average is good. Unique is always nice as well. High and average is good for taller players. Unique is good for anybody, I'll be honest uh so just do bear that in mind lean is, is okay man it's decent it's better than average for sure 
But uh, yeah, we got Frank Kowski and Diaby as the best wingers in terms of value. Now, a lot of people have been speaking about this card. 179,000 coins, five star skills. Very, very nice CM right there, man. Sorry, a right, right winger. Can't even play him CM. Not the best defense. But he can do it, man. Five-star skills is always nice as well. And he's a premium shapeshifter. Some of these cards do bear in mind. If they're premium shapeshifters, they do get um, three chem um, irrespective, you know. So three chem, 100% where you place them. Yeah. What do people add on this type of card, actually? Um, a marksman. Interesting. Okay, marksman gets him to control. You can even, I'd, I'd personally say, make him explosive. Because he's five foot nine, he will be fast enough. Get that man on the engine, he will turn nice. Now, yes, it's not boosting his acceleration and sprint speed that much, but get him on an engine to make him explosive on new gen, obviously, and you will have decent passing as well. Slap that guy at Ram or Lamb, you got yourself an insane right wing. Everybody knows the RB, you know, the likes of Coleman's are good value, so I don't really need to say much right there. But we move over to the last category, and it is the CFs slash strikers. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one, smash a like if you are still watching. Can we get at least 100 likes, man, for this video? And ladies and gentlemen, now I didn't want to add your Ronaldo's, your R9s, because everybody knows they meta. I keep on saying it, Cruyff, etc. I'm going to lose my mind saying the same plays, but I had to include your boy Benzema, because this card, I cannot for the life of me defend this Benzema card. He is so good in game. Five star skills is even make it, makes him even more insane, bro. And he obviously can get lengthy. So. Yeah, this Benzema, in my opinion, is up there with the best CFs slash strikers, man. Mahrez as well, 5-star combo, always nice to have. But the best valued, let's go, boys. It is Vitinha. Ladies and gentlemen, an absolute menace right there in anyone's team. What a card this card is. 250,000 coins, yes. He's got the lean body type and 5 foot 8. He's going to turn like an absolute monster. He's going to be so, so good, boys. Or not like a monster, he's going to turn like small dynamite, bro. <laughs> Very, very good card. In my opinion, get this card in your team. He's going to be up there. You know, you know. if we're looking at cards, right? He's up there like with Atal Shapeshifters. I remember in back in the day, Atal had a Shapeshifter that everybody loved. So he's going to be there. Uh, you know, it's kind of like when you go into the new FIFA, they'll be like, remember that Vitina card? I do think this card will be like that. That's how good he is, man. In my opinion, up there with the best value card in the game right now. Get him in your team. Firmino is the CF right there. Firmino is decent value. I'd say he's actually very nice for the um, the bang for buck. Definitely get this Firmino unique body type. He's really, really good in game. And yeah, tell me who your favorite striker slash CFC is. That is the video, boys. I've been with Max Smash Likes Prime. I've said that really quick. I cannot lie. <laughs> Join the Discord. Check out MMOEXP if you want to acquire some of these cards. And also check out the Patreon slash tipping page for a team. Thank you so much, boys. Have a sweet week, man. Peace.